Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on mathematical economics series, we will solve another numerical on the applications of linear algebra in economics. In earlier video, we have solved this this, uh, this very question using the matrix inversion, and we will solve the same question now using the Kramer's rule. The question is same. Uh, given the is function that y plus thousand i is equal to three hundred fifty, and lm function is y minus five hundred i is equal to 200 uh, find equilibrium level of interest rate and income where y and i are the income and interest rate respectively and this i stands for investment saving and this lm is the liquidity for money so so we have to use the creamers rule in uh, finding the equilibrium level of income and interest rate so our solution will be like first of all using creamers rule i will explain uh, later how it is done First of all, we have to express uh, the given system of equations in matrix form. That is uh, y plus 1000 i is equal to 350. This is our first equation and second is y minus 500 i is equal to 200. So, the first step is to express these system of equations in matrix form. The rule is we write this as a x is equal to b where this a is the coefficient matrix the coefficients of y's and i's and this x is the solution vector uh, uh, the numbers or the variables which we have to find we, we have to found and similarly this b stands for the vector of constant terms that is 350 and 200 so we have to use uh, this very data now first of all this coefficient matrix so i will uh, write uh, this the coefficient matrix here is now the coefficient of y is here one here also one the coefficient of i is thousand and here the coefficient is minus 500 so this is our coefficient matrix uh, x is the solution vector that is y and i and this very b is the uh, vector of constant terms the vector of con the constant numbers here are 350 and 200 so this is the first step in solving the system of linear equations using Kramer's rule after that we take this coefficient matrix and take its determinant that is the determinant of this coefficient matrix now the determinant of this matrix is that is equal to 1 into minus 500 1 into minus 500 minus 1 into 1000 first uh, Multiplying these two elements on the principal diagonal and from that subtracting the uh, product of the uh, elements on the non-principal diagonal. So here yeah, this is this is minus 500 and minus 1000 that is minus 1500. So this is our determinant of the coefficient matrix. Now comes the Kramer's rule. Now to, uh, to solve for y, that is to find the equilibrium level of income. To solve for y we replace the first uh, column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms. So this is, that is, uh, to solve for, solve for y, that is, to solve for this very element, we replace the first element of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms and form a new matrix. That is, to solve for y, replace replace column first so i will write here column first of coefficient matrix coefficient matrix with the vector of vector of constant terms and form new matrix new matrix that is let us say this is a1 so the a1 will be that is now this new matrix is that is we replace the first element of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant term so the new matrix will uh, be like this 350 200 and this will remain same that is 1000 and here it is minus 500 so this is our a1 after that we take the determinant of the a1 that is uh, a1 is equal to now here is 350 multiplying these two elements minus 500 minus uh, 200 and 
thousand. So this is equal to one, two, three. So these are three zeros here. Now five fives are twenty-five. Five three are fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So this is one lakh seventy-five thousand. So this is minus here. Now here it is minus one, two, three, four, five. So five zero five and two hundred. So this is one lakh seventy-five thousand. Mm, minus one leg, one seventy five thousand minus two legs. So this is equal to minus three seven five zero zero zero. So this is equal to three legs seventy five thousand. So the determinant is a one is equal to this. Now we have to use the Kramer's rule. Now Kramer's rule using using Kramer's rule. Therefore, the value of y will be equal to the value of first element is equal to the new matrix which we have formed by replacing the corresponding um, uh, that is the uh, column with the vector of constant term. That is y is equal to the equilibrium level of income will be equal to that is the determinant of new matrix that is a one. Divided by the uh, coefficient matrix, the determinant of the coefficient matrix. Now the determinant of a one is which we have calculated. This is three seven five triple zero. So I'll write here minus three seven five triple zero divided by the determinant of this um, coefficient matrix is minus one five zero zero. So this will get cancelled with this. So this minus will also get cancelled. Now fifteen ones are fifteen. Here it is 15. Sorry, 15 twos are 15 twos are 30. So there are uh, we get 7, 75, 15 fives are 75 and 15 zeros are. So we got the equilibrium level of income that is equal to 250. So I repeat, when we use the Kramer's rule, first of all, what we have, uh, we first express the given system of equations in matrix form. After that, we take the Determinant of the coefficient matrix that is here minus fifteen hundred. Now after that we form the new determinant, which is formed by replacing. If we have to solve for this element, first element of the um, solution vector, we replace the first column with the uh, vector of constant terms. After that we use this formula. That is. Uh, the value of y is equal to the determinant of the new matrix that's a1 divided by the determinant of the coefficient matrix and we get the optimal value of income here now the same procedure will apply when we solve for i that is to solve for i we replace the second column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms and form a new matrix Let's say that is A2. So I will write. Actually, this will get messy here. So I will not write it. this. I will just try to explain you here. To solve for this interest rate, the second element, we replace the second column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms and form a new matrix that is equal to A1. So sorry, A2. Now our A2 will be equal to so this is same here. Yeah, so I will write here our A2 will be equal to A2 new matrix is equal to so we replace uh, second column when we while solving this for y we replace it. the first column when solving for the second this i we replace it. the second column similarly if it was three by three matrix. So if it here it was another element here, so we have to uh, accordingly solve for the third element here. So because it is two by two matrix, it is enough here. Now uh, here a two will be equal to that is we have to replace the second column here. So, so first column will be same one one and uh, In place of thousand and five hundred, we have three fifty and two hundred. So I will write three fifty and two hundred. So this is our new matrix A two, which is formed by uh, replacing the second column, second column of the coefficient matrix 
with the vector of constant terms now the determinant of this a2 is equal to so we take the determinant of this new matrix so so i will write here to solve for to solve for i we are solving for the interest rate here so the determinant here will be multiplying these two 1 200 minus 1 350 now 200 minus 350 this is equal to minus 150 so the determinant of a2 is equal to minus 150 so we are back on track uh, to find the value of the interest rate now the, uh, therefore using creamers rule that is the value of i equilibrium value of i will be equal to that is equal to the determinant of the new matrix which is formed by replacing the second column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms divided by the original determinant that is the determinant of the coefficient matrix so this is a so this is equal to minus 150 this and and determinant of this is minus one five zero zero so this will get cancelled this is uh, this is 15 divided by 150 so this will become 15 ones are 50 so this is actually 150 so this will be equal to 0 0.1 0 0.1 15 uh, divided by 150 is equal to 0 0.1 you can also calculate this so this is our equilibrium level of interest rate. So this is how we use the Kramer rule in solving the system of linear equations. So I repeat uh, this. We were given uh, two functions, that is IS function and LM function. So we have to find the equilibrium level of interest rate in income using Kramer rule. First of all, the first step in solving the Kramer rule is to express the given system of equation with matrix form that is ax is equal to b where a is the where this a is the coefficient matrix x is the solution vector and b is the vector of constant term so we have formed this uh, this is the coefficient matrix the coefficient is y is and i is these are actually the endogenous variables here so we have to make a coefficient of the endogenous variables the endogenous variables you know whose value is determined within these equations or within the system and exogenous means whose value is given to us that is fixed so these are the so form the coefficient matrix of the variables that is y and i and multiply actually write this uh, this is our solution vector uh, the numbers the variables which we have to find the equilibrium level so this is y and i which is equal to b b is the vector of constant terms this was the first step second take the determinant of this uh, coefficient matrix which we got here 1500 now to solve for y to solve for this first uh, income what we do we replace the first element of the coefficient matrix with this vector of constant terms and form a new matrix that is 350 200 in place of 1 1 we have 350 and 200 and rest is same and we form this very uh, this very matrix now after that we uh, take the determinant of this new matrix that is determinant of a1 which we got 375000 now after that we use the Kramer rule Kramer rule says to solve for the first element to solve for the first element of the uh, this uh, solution vector we take determinant of the new matrix and divide it by the determinant of the quotient matrix so after solving we got this 250 similarly to solve for this i to solve for the interest rate we replace the second column of the quotient matrix with the vector of constant term and take the determinant of the resulting matrix which we got here minus 150 now to solve for this interest rate we have to uh, or we have to take the determinant of the new matrix which we formed and divide it by the coefficient matrix and when solving we got the interest rate is equal to 0 0.5 so uh, graphically this will be like this 
this is our income and this is our interest rate this is our LM function and this is our IS function so this point is the equilibrium point where the level of income is 250 and the corresponding interest rate is 0 0.1 so this is our IS the slope is downwards and this is LM the slope is upwards so for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe our youtube channel econ maths also like comment and share if you like this video thank you